Most of us have heard about the boy who cried wolf, and probably everyone who's familiar with the eons old folktale remembers the ending. False alarms have disastrous consequences. Unfortunately, these scenarios exist outside of just myths and parables. Since the beginning of human communication, we've seen countless moments of unexpected confusion and terror arise from both purposeful and accidental alarms set off amongst large populations. So from the recent ballistic scare on the Hawaiian Islands to a tragic fire alarm procedure at Seton Hall University, here are five of the scariest false alarm messages that caused chaos. Sit back and enjoy. The 1976 Swine Flu Campaign. In 1976, a New Jersey soldier, Private David Lewis, collapsed and died one day due to complications from the swine flu. Influenza A, virus subtype H1N1 at Fort Dix, New Jersey. Other fellow soldiers grew sick as well, with 13 additional hospitalizations taking place. In response, the United States government claimed there to be a massive outbreak of swine flu, and a pandemic level of mass immunizations were to follow suit. Fortunately, the so-called outbreak never actually materialized. Outside of the unlucky few at Fort Dix, New Jersey, no other H1N1 fatalities occurred in the United States. However, the immunization program enacted by the US impacted 25% of the population with disastrous side effects. The formula for the vaccine caused an increase in reported Guillain-Barre syndrome cases, a sickness that includes paralysis, respiratory failure, and death. While not everyone agrees, the swine flu false alarm directly impacted the spike of this syndrome. It's certainly plausible to think that such an irrational demand for vaccines was uncalled for seeing as though the H1N1 flu hadn't been proven to outbreak anywhere outside of New Jersey. The United States claimed it's better to err on the side of caution or aggressive intervention. Yet, even with this mindset, the backlash of the H1N1 false alerts forced US officials to react slowly to the very real AIDS crisis a few years later, creating another unintentional epidemic. It makes you wonder how many AIDS cases could have been prevented had the 1976 swine flu scare never materialized. Evacuation of the Red Public. On Friday the 13th in November of 2015, Paris experienced the worst terrorist attack in European history since the Madrid train bombings in 2004. 130 people lost their life, along with over 400 injuries and months of grief and political distress. To make matters worse, a false alarm shook the Place de la République two days later, where a few hundred individuals were holding a candlelit vigil in downtown Paris to honor the victims and deceased of the recent terrorist bombings. In the middle of the ceremony, noises that sounded like gunshots rang in the night sky, prompting chaotic evacuation as those in attendance scattered to find shelter. Take a look at the unsettling footage captured as the scene unfolded. One of the survivors at Bataclan, who, by the way, is a gardener. Now, this place here is... Hey, shit happening. There's something going on here. People are running. Keep We're going to... Okay. Okay. People are running away. We have... Qu'est-ce qui se passe? People are running. People are shooting, maybe. I just heard a shot, but I'm not sure if that's true. Okay. Soon after the scare, authorities discovered the origin of the loud shot to be firecrackers. The culprits of such a horrible prank were never found, and those who experienced the false alarm were left clutching their hearts at what was originally assumed to be another attack. The Boland Hall Fires On the tragic day of January the 19th, 2000, a deadly fire broke out at 4.30 in the morning in the freshman dormitory, Boland Hall, at Seton Hall University. Because most students were sleeping, the fire spread unannounced, rapidly spiking in temperatures and melting the synthetic carpets throughout the building. By the time the alarm sounded and the students woke up, it was too late. Many of the victims had to jump 40 feet from their windows or crawl across the scalding floors to find the evacuation stairwell. In the end, three students died, joined by 56 injured students and firefighters. Three years after the calamity, 
an investigation found two students guilty of arson. The two residents had set a fire initially as a prank, but when the flames outgrew containment, they ran and left the sleeping students to fend for themselves. The heartbreaking truth to the horrifying events is that the chaos could have been prevented. Not only did Boland Hall lack the necessary sprinkler systems, but the residents' buildings across the campus had been notorious for false fire alarms. Former and current students alike grew to heed no warning to the loud alert systems, and a relaxed attitude festered due to years of false alarms. It's quite disturbing to think about the consequences of ignoring fire signals, especially when innocent human beings lost their lives. 2018 Hawaiian Missile Scare at 8.07 in the morning on January the 13th, 2018, residents and tourists alike in the state of Hawaii received an incredibly urgent alert, urging anyone and everyone to take shelter due to an incoming missile attack. The message in question stated the alarm was not a drill and an immediate reaction was necessary. A similar audio alert popped up on television broadcasts as well. For 36 minutes, all who received the alert entered a state of absolute chaos with the recent tensions between the United States and North Korea, a ballistic missile launch was certainly possible, and no one thought to second-guess such an alarm. Tourists scrambled for concrete structures, and residents threw tables and chairs over their heads, hoping for any sort of shelter. The major highways near Oahu saw traffic evaporate almost instantly, with motorists pulling over and taking shelter underneath overpasses. Hawaii's telephone system was heavily pressed with frantic phone calls between family members and loved ones, trying to make last-second communication. Scariest of all, many 911 calls never patched through due to a massive stream of attempted emergency summons. At around 8.45am, another message was sent out, this time stating the initial alert was a mistake, and no missile or other ballistic was inbound for Hawaii. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard had talked with US military officials and found that no weapon appeared on radar or satellite imaging. She then pushed for the second message to be sent out to stop Hawaii's fears and frantic behavior. In the preceding investigation, she discovered the error came during an employee shift change at the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, where the wrong alert button had been pushed. While the employee at fault didn't lose his job, the Congresswoman worries about a future situation of the same nature, and if the Hawaiian people would take valuable moments to second-guess an alert. 1983 Soviet Nuclear Disaster This next false alarm is not known for the hectic chaos it created, but for the possible international destruction it almost brought forth. I have mentioned it briefly in a previous video, but for a video on this topic, it's impossible not to include. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, the United States of America and the Soviet Union were in the middle of a stalemate period of the Cold War. That is until the Soviet Union deployed a new range of nuclear missiles for their arsenal, to which the US responded with a fresh set of weapons of their own. Nuclear bombs able to reach the far eastern European countries, including the USSR. American officials furthered the retaliation by playing games of psychological warfare, sending bomb squadrons into Soviet radar boundaries, only to turn around at the last second before Soviet leaders could declare an attack. It raised tensions to a boiling point and almost exploded into a worldwide nuclear war. On September 26, 1983, Colonel Petrov of the Soviet Air Defense Forces assumed his shift in the satellite command room. Shortly after midnight, the radar's computer system showed five American missiles projecting towards the Soviet Union. Upon first glance, it seemed like an impending attack, but Colonel Petrov smartly used his intuition and realized if the United States were to send nuclear missiles towards the USSR, they'd send hundreds at once to block any sort of retaliation. He confirmed the satellite's accidental malfunction when the five missiles disappeared and four more followed suit hours later. Although Petrov had no direct means to prove his theory, he stayed true to his gut. Had the colonel informed his superiors of an actual attack, the Soviet Union would have fired with full-scale nuclear warfare due to their attack and response policy. Only Petrov knew in those tense moments what would happen 
and it's fair to say he saved the Earth from a theoretical World War III. It's still both haunting and fascinating to think, however, that a random satellite malfunction due to a rare alignment of sunlight, clouds, and a Soviet colonel's brave hunch saved us all from possible doomsday. So that's five of the scariest false alarm messages. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and don't forget to follow Top 5s on Instagram to keep up to date with all our travels and adventures. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.